Hello everyone and welcome. Today I've decided to do something a bit different for my betting preview and I'm recording a video. Uh, that's a first for me so please be kind. Uh, I hope it will be good. There are 14 games uh, today in Monte Carlo and I will go through all of them. I'm starting with a safe pick first. Uh, Three safe matches for me. Uh, first one is Murray against Herbert. Herbert won his first match on clay in a main draw yesterday against Bayard. Uh, I'm not really convinced that uh, he played so well yesterday. I think Bayard played really bad. Uh, but it's a well deserved win. But against Murray, I think it's not the same story. Murray is too strong for him. Uh, Herbert hasn't won against a top 40 player. In his career, uh, Murray is very comfortable on clay. Herbert is is uh, more comfortable on quicker surface. And after what I've seen for, from yesterday against Peya, I think it's just impossible for for Herbert to win that game. So Murray to win 1.09 is very short. Uh, we can go for alternate bet like uh, uh, Murray to win in two sets, 1.38. Quite interesting. But if you think that it will be a, a quick match, less than 20 games, it's given at uh, 184. Uh, it could be interesting as well. Just keep in mind that uh, Airbear has played already three matches in Monte Carlo, two in qualification and the first one yesterday. It will be the first match for uh, Murray this year in Monte Carlo, so he, he may have a slow start. Just as to be remembered. Second match is uh, Federer against Garcia Lopez. Uh, Federer has been away for a while because of uh, his knee injury and he was sick uh, in Miami. But I'm pretty sure that he's 100% uh, fit now. Uh, he has been in Monte Carlo for 10 days, training on the clay. Uh, he's fully prepared for, for this tournament. Uh, he has played three times against Garcia Lopez and won three times in straight set. Uh, just think he's too strong for Garcia Lopez, even on clay. So this is a sure pick for me. You, you can go for a, a alternate bet if you want. Uh, Federer to win in two sets is given at 152. is interesting as well. Last one is uh, Cuevas against uh, Rimino Traver. Cuevas has done uh, great tennis in uh, South America, winning two tournaments. He's, uh, he's in form, he's, he has a great momentum here. Rimino Traver is not doing good this season, has won only five uh, games, five matches in the, in the main draw this year. So Cuevas is a clear favorite. You can go for alternate bet. Cuevas to win in two sets, 181 is a very interesting. The two next game are pretty safe as well, but uh, for me the, the odds are a bit too short to be taken. So we'll start with uh, Tsonga against the Kaina Busta. Uh, Tsonga should win this one, but uh, he hasn't done a great season so far. Uh, Given at 136, I, I think it's just too short. Uh, Kaino Busta is a good clay player. I think it's probably a bit too early for him to play Tsonga on Monte Carlo and can pretend that he can win, but 136 is not really exciting. So maybe for this one, I would advise to go for alternate bets if you want, if you want to bet on this game. Next one, same story. Uh, Goffin against Lopez. Uh, Goffin sh should win, for sure. He's uh, really good on clay. Lopez may prefer uh, quicker courts. But 128 is not exciting and uh, I'm not really sure that I, I can bet in a safe safe way on uh, Goffin to win in two sets, for example, because uh, we never know with Lopez. <laughs> so, yeah, once again, look at the alternate bets. Maybe it's a better deal. Fonini Lorenzi is a different story. Uh, Fonini is given at 148. It's uh, really good. 
but the only thing is he has been injured and hasn't played since uh, February, since uh, Rio. So I think he's a better player if he is 100% uh, fit. Should win this one. Maybe 90% fit, he still should win this one. But we don't know, so uh, it's a good one to be taken. But just be careful. Uh, maybe he's not uh, fully fit. Bautista a good Charlie, different story again. Uh, Bautista a good is playing well this season. He's a better clay player. Shardy likes clay as well, but he is not performing so well. Uh, last month a, a bit has been a bit uh, disappointing for him. So I would say Bautista should win this one. 141 is good. But just remember we are in Monaco, Charlie is French, there will be a lot of people supporting him, so he may uh, extra perform a bit. Just just remember that. Now the, the match I would advise you to avoid. Why? Uh, because it's just 50-50 calls. Uh, it can go both ways. First one is uh, Simo against Dimitrov. Uh, odds are uh, pretty even. I think Simo is given as a favorite because uh, he leads 4 1 against Dimitrov. But Dimitrov won the, the last one in Brisbane this year. So, yeah, if I had to, to pick one winner for this one, uh, I don't know, I don't know who to pick. It's probably safer to go with uh, alternate bets on this one, uh, uh, number of games, or maybe a match in three set look a bit safer. As a Zumo, different story because uh, As has been away uh, for more than one month. He's coming back in, in Monte Carlo. We don't know if he's uh, fit. Uh, I think he's a better player, but uh, yeah, we just don't know about his fitness. So maybe stay away from, from this one. Manarino Daniel, uh, interesting one because. Uh, Daniel is given as a favorite because he's, he's a clay player. Manarino prefer quicker courts. But if we look at the season record, uh, Daniel has only won, uh, only won uh, once in a main draw this season. Uh, Manarino has performed quite well. And I just think he's a better player. But uh, clay is perhaps a bit better for, for Daniel. If I had to pick uh, a winner from this one, I would say maybe Manarino, but once again, maybe safer to go for alternate bets. Look at the, the odds for matching three sets or a number of games, maybe better, yeah. And last one, Veseli Gabashvili. So Veseli is given as a favorite. Uh, I don't think he's playing really great this season, but he has done well uh, last week in, in Marrakesh. Uh, doing well is perhaps a uh, uh, a bit too too good, but uh, he has won two matches, uh, uh, just lost seven six seven seats on on courage, and probably why he's given as a, as a favorite today. But for me, that's really a fifty fifty games. Gabashvili can can upset Vezeli here. I would stay away from from this one because this player is just impossible to to predict. And now the last three matches. So I have led these three for, for the end because I think that the three most interesting uh, matches in terms of betting for today. Uh, first one, Verdasco uh, versus Delbonis. Uh, Delbonis has done great on clay this season. He, he won Marrakesh tournament last week. Uh, interesting, he is struggling about, uh, against the lefties. So, uh, Verasco could have a chance here. And the second point is uh, Delbonis won on Sunday in Marrakesh. He is playing now on Tuesday uh, in Monte Carlo. So it's not a long trip, so probably one hour flight between Marrakesh and, and, and Monte Carlo. But yeah, I don't know if there was a bit of a party on Sunday night. Uh, it's always tricky when you won a tournament and play straight away in another one. Uh, Verdasco is a very good player on clay. Uh, so, yeah, it's 50-50 call for me. 
Alternate bets on this one could be very, very interesting, uh, like uh, uh, three set matches or um, more than a certain number of games. So look at this one. I think there are some money to, to be made here. Karlovic uh, Souza is a different story. Uh, Karlovic has been injured. Uh, he hasn't played for a while. Uh, Souza is given as a big favorite because it's on clay. He's a clay player. And Karlovic game is clearly better on, on quicker courts. But if, if we look at Souza record this season, it's just so bad. Uh, he lost the first round in Marrakesh last week. I watched the game. It was not a good name, good game at all. And, uh, Karlovic can upset anyone with his serve. So he, he said himself that he is playing for the first time, uh, pain, pain free for a while. And, uh, with this server, I think it can it can doing good. So I, I won't pick Karlovic as a winner because I don't think it's very safe. But uh, looking at alternate bets, perhaps uh, betting on a tiebreak can be good. Uh, betting on uh, more than uh, I don't know twenty or twenty two games in in the match could be good as well because it can do a lot of damage with uh, with his serve. And the last one is Cole Schreiber against Korich. Same here. Cole, Cole Schreiber is a, is a clay player, so he's given as, as a natural favorite here. Uh, Korich, uh, same story as Delbonis. He played on Sunday. Maybe a bit upset of, of, of his loss. He has to, to focus really quickly on, on Monte Carlo. Not easy. Um, on clay, it's probably less comfortable than hard court, but I think in terms of tennis and in terms of uh, skills, both players are really, really close to each other. So I won't pick a winner here because odds are not interesting and I think Paul Schreiber uh, should win this one. But look once again at alternate bets. It could be interesting uh, number of games or three sets could be, could be taken. And that's all for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was my first video, so probably not the best ever, but I, I will try to do it again. If you want to find more information about uh, tennis, uh, tennis player, uh, last news, uh, you can join a very uh, nice community on Discuss Tennis uh, website. Uh, there are forums there on uh, many subjects, uh, ATP, WT, uh, it's very very nice website. Uh, I'm posting a, a daily uh, betting preview there, but there are also a few other guys who are giving uh, uh, betting tips. Uh, there are few friendly uh, uh, prediction competition. Uh, uh, yeah, many things to to have fun with. So yeah, you should join. It's very very good fun there. And uh, if you want to, to know more about me, about my uh, betting records, etc., you can uh, uh, go on my blog. Uh, every day I'm uh, uh, detailing the, the bets I'm going for and how much I bet on each matches. And I, I keep record of my uh, performance so you can have a really good insight of how I am doing. Uh, I've... I've put all the link in the video description so no worries for that see you later and uh, good luck